our world there's animals all around and you have questions can you down ranger ray is here to show by talking to those animal pros with the critter calm we see the world a new adventure will unfold you'll become an animal champ here at ranger ray's animal camp <laughs> Hello there everyone and welcome back to Ranger Ray's Animal Camp. I'm your host Ranger Ray and today we're soaring into our high flying question today. Why don't all birds fly? I mean, all birds have wings, so it would make sense they could all fly, right? Well, I bet with your help we can figure this out. So without further ado, let's head to the Crittercom. So let's go. Well, hey there Crittercom. Ah, oh, Ranger Ray, what groundbreaking question do we have today? Well, today we're trying to answer the question, why can't all birds fly? Oh, well, yes, that is a good question. Uh, one I can certainly relate to, because especially since I've had the chance to fly with my mobile screen, now that's all I want to do is fly. Uh, well, I don't think that's quite the same thing, Crittercom. Really? How so? Well, even the birds who can't fly can still get around in other ways, but you're a computer, so you're stuck there. Low blow, Ranger Ray. Low blow! <laughs> Sorry, I had to, Crittercom. Do you mind calling Oscar the Ostrich for us? Well, after that comment, I shouldn't. But, all right. Oh, hey there, Ranger Ray and Crittercom. Oh, hey there, Oscar. Great to see ya. Now, we have a question for you. Why can't all birds fly? Oh, happy to share, Ranger Ray. Here, let me show you. Although all birds look like they have all the tools to fly, like wings and feathers, not all can fly. And the reason why is because the ones that don't fly don't really need to. The way that works best for them out in the wild is not to fly, but have other adaptations. So flightless birds are grounded for a reason. Exactly. Tank ostriches like me, for instance. We ostriches are very big. In fact, we're the biggest birds in the whole world. But we can't fly. If we could fly, we'd have to have much bigger wings and much different feathers. But we don't need to fly. Out on the African savanna where we live, it makes more sense for us to be able to run fast with our large legs to outrun predators and to outrun our food. If we had to fly, our size would make takeoff and landing really hard, so best just not to fly. Do you have any other examples? Oh, certainly, Ranger Ray. Penguins are another great example. Penguins are perfectly suited for life in the water. Their wings serve them better as flippers than for flight. There's also birds that lose their flight if they stay on islands as they have very few predators to fly away from and all their food can be found near the ground. Some examples are the kiwi bird and the flightless parrot, the kakapo. In fact, there's over 60 species of flightless birds who all for one reason or another left the skies and traded it for a life on the ground. Wow, Oscar, this has been amazing. Thank you so much for all your help. Don't mention it, always happy to help. So not all birds fly because they don't need to. For some birds, they're so big, flying would be really hard to do. And some have preferred life in the water, while others live on islands where flying's not necessary. Yes, it seems not every bird needs flight. But if I can't use my mobile screen all the time, can I at least get a hoverboard or something to move around? Oh, there's no way I'm going to get you a hoverboard, Crittercom! Why not? Oh, because i tell you exactly how it'd go. I'd put you on a hoverboard, you'd be so excited, you'd go forward as fast as you can, and you'd smack into a wall, your screen would break, your processor would be broken, and you'd just be sitting there going, If only I had listened to Rain to Ray! Well, you don't have to be so dramatic about it. <laughs> well, thank you guys so much for joining us on this adventure. Remember, stay wonderful and wild, and I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye! Ta-ta!